Hey, welcome to Deeply Disturbing Check-Ins. Cha-chat, cha-chat. I have quite the story for you. I'm so excited. So our last podcast that we recorded hasn't come out yet, but no. I something happened to me today that was totally related to your topic. I already forgot what my topic was. Well, it'll come back to you. So okay. I was standing outside the wellness center today mm-hmm. and about to get in my car. And a U.S. Postal Service van Ah. pulls in, like swings in, and totally hits the front of my ex-husband's car, like right in front of me. Oh, no. And it was like, you know how it's like really loud, like, yeah, they're like, like, oh, crap. And I'm just standing there, and he hops out and looks, and he's like, do you know whose car it is? And I'm like, yeah, it's it's my car, because that car's still in my name. Oh, and um I'm like this car has been hit so many times which it has that car yeah. on that street has been hit and run and I was about to say, I'm sure run. that street is pretty sketchy yeah so I mean it's totally drivable it's not going to make it any uglier like I didn't really care but he had to call his boss and everything yeah and um so he calls his boss he's like I'm just gonna take this package really quick and he opens the door of the van and it's just packed with Amazon packages the whole thing and this is Sunday today's Sunday yeah and because you had done your topic I felt like I had like this different level of empathy and connection nice um, yeah and, and I was able even able to be like yeah I heard about that Amazon contract like I'm sorry I'll have to work on Sunday and and, and remember how you talked about how the vans are terrible? Yeah. He's like, this van is so hard to drive around this neighborhood. Aww. And he's like, and basically that's why he crashed into the car. Cause it's like this big bulky weird box. Yeah. That's hard to maneuver. I mean, my neighborhood has a lot, a lot of narrow streets with a lot of, of parked cars. Yeah. Yeah. So his boss showed up and uh, me and my ex husband were like, we don't even care. Like we don't want him to get in trouble. It's not worth it. Mm-hmm. Um, oh that was nice funny yeah yes <laughs> everything's connected and everything's our podcast connected. is psychic it really is yep <laughs> uh-huh so cool. be nice to your usps people out there yes. delivering amazon packages on a sunday and take a listen next week to our last podcast which just isn't posted yet where we talk more about it uh, so did you figure out if you actually have a warrant? <laughs> I've been no, curious. I've decided it was probably a scam because nobody's called me back. Yeah, probably a scam. But I kind of feel like I want to tell the sheriff's department that somebody is impersonating them. That's probably illegal. Well, yeah, it happens all the time. There's not going to be a, it, they're like toss away numbers. And I mean, it's what they do. No, I want a sting operation. <laughs> you're going to, you're going to trick them tricking you. That's right. And then they're going to end up taking all your money somehow. <laughs> <laughs> well, at least I know better than to, you know, give out my, you know, social security number or bank account number or something like that. I wouldn't do that. Yeah. Yeah. So I had a moment <laughs> yesterday when I had to go out to my, my office on one of the off days when there aren't people there. And so we're like the only ones that are renting in this big like business building. So it's empty and you have to have like a code to get into the hallways. We had a situation where there was um, a man passed out in front of the stairs like a week ago. So I had to go in through the stairway and it was like dark. Have you ever like been in a hallway and when it's dark, you get that panic and then you run? (laughs) I don't know. So you just took off running? You've never done that, like in a hallway, just in your house, even where like you you turn off the light and you freak yourself out and then run. No, I have a lot of weird (laughs) shit that I do. You never have like monster. (laughs) Okay. Well, sometimes (laughs) that happens to me, but I had this in this, uh, it's a three store building and I was carrying a computer box and I I started to walk and I just had this thought in my mind of what if there's somebody down below? because I didn't come in at the very basement floor. And I'm like, and what if they're just staying down there? And then I I felt my heart rate starting to go up and I got scared and I started going faster and I was full-blown sprinting by the top of the stairs carrying this computer box. I literally tripped and fell forward because I was going too fast at the top. And then I just had to sit there for a moment, um, take a breath and then get up and like, like, I'm fine. (laughs) I would be worried. (laughs) 
<laughs> maybe that somebody was going to grab my ankles in that scenario yeah i mean it's like once once you get the idea that someone's chasing you from behind you don't look because that'll make it them that real. makes it real yeah. <laughs> that makes it real no so I, I, I totally look, get that and then i just ate <laughs> shit falling forward <laughs> i hate falling up the stairs you, it hurts your shins yeah yeah isn't there concrete steps too but anyways that was just it reminded me of like when you're little and you do that or as an adult if you get scared in your own house in the dark somebody out there relates to this i don't i'm sure it may not be you. well i do go very fast if i'm alone and have to go to the basement i'll go pretty fast i don't want to hang out there yeah maybe it's because you know my old house that was like legit haunted with children hair and stuff with the closed offness like i think my fear healthy fear comes from that (laughs) But when you were a kid, were you ever scared of like monsters under your bed? No. What? I used to like be in the middle of my bed, like curled up like this, the blankets, because I'd picture like hands coming up. So I'd try to keep like a hand distance away from the sides and ends of my bed at all times. No, I was scared of like serial killers outside coming in. Well, I mean, like I was scared of you were from California, (laughs) so that's the thing that happened there I was very scared of like um like cemeteries I didn't like to go into them at night oh I mean I don't think I did that that's a child oh (laughs) (laughs) you know whatever what else you got that's my main thing I think for the day yeah Yeah. I I was like I can't believe this is happening right now and we just talked about this two days ago (laughs) Well, but that's kind of like also in that same podcast that you're here next week, uh, you talk about some stuff with the brain. And I finished reading a book that talked about exactly what we were asking questions about. And it was, yeah, it's weird. Everything's connected. Everything is so connected. Okay. Quick question. Sure. Um, do you blow dry your hair or do you towel dry it? I don't yeah. either. I don't do either. You just air dry. Yeah. Okay. Cause I've had my sister and my mom tell me don't blow dry your hair it dries it out or you know damages your hair and I've been like not doing that and trying to see if there's a difference I'm just not sure yet (laughs) I mean when I go to the hair salon and they you know give me a nice blowout it does look great it looks way better than my hair does when I do it. normally yeah yeah Yeah. it's just like smoother Mm -hmm. well but they put a lot of product in it too though that makes it like fluffy yeah I mean I'm I'm pretty minimalist with the hair stuff so whenever I get a haircut I'm like I'm never gonna do anything to my hair so I have to have a (laughs) cut where it's just (laughs) so that's why I have like layers and stuff so it sort of looks like a thing like a style so it looks intentional it looks stylish without me having to style it yeah yeah well you're styling all right until next time I am styling Oh, sorry. I really wanted to say something. I think we cut we cut out my internet is being a little weird for some reason. So sorry. Say say what you wanted to say. No, I didn't want to say anything, but I, I remember that we don't say anything for the cha chas. Yeah, no, no, no. We just say goodbye. We just say until bye. next time. Figure it out. <laughs> <laughs>